Good morning. Welcome to the 9 a.m. update of our winter storm that is slowly starting to leave the region. We still have another band of snow that's starting to develop off to the west, so we'll talk about that now. Currently, our temperatures along the coast have fallen into the mid to upper 30s for most of the region, except for the east and along island, where we are still in the lower 40s with our stationary front. That's expected to continue to fall into the 30s as we move on through the morning hours. Much of Connecticut has fallen back into the upper 20s to lower 30s over the northern half of Connecticut. Southern half is in the lower to mid 30s now and continues to cool. While the temperatures over the Poconos and the Catskills range from the upper 20s to lower 30s, lower to mid 30s on the northern suburbs of New York City, mid to upper 30s around New York City, and of course, down the Jersey Shore, we have fallen out of the 40s into the mid to upper 30s as well. So that cold air is bleeding in. We're seeing that uh, cold air is fall pushing also into portions of southeastern Pennsylvania as well, where our temperatures are falling back to around the mid 30s. They were originally around the lower 40s as early as midnight last night. And we actually have some light snow being reported now as that precipitation is heading towards the region. Philadelphia is still a little bit too warm for that around the mid to upper 30s at around 37 degrees. Take a look at our radar. You can see our precipitation starting to fill in very nicely and our snow shield is starting to grow here over northeastern Pennsylvania, producing some pretty good snowfall rates as it is starting to march its way towards the area. Again, along the coast, we still have that rain-snow mix. That's expected to change over to snow. We can take a look at our 850 millibar situation here, our plots. We can still continue to see no real sign of a closed 850 millibar low. We're trying to see something develop out here towards the Jersey Shore and around Long Island with winds starting to back. We're getting winds from the west, winds from the southeast. So we're starting to see that evolution starting to take place. And that's going to be important for the snowfall for Connecticut and Massachusetts and Rhode Island as our storm continues to slowly intensify. At 925 millibars, we can say even better with our 925 millibar low elongated, but certainly forming and starting to create that stronger thermal gradient around southern New England and that furniture is just to support strong lifting. In terms of strong lifting, remember what I said last night, the back end of that precipitation will start to see colder cloud tops start to form up. And that is exactly what we're starting to see over north central Pennsylvania. As that marches through, it's a sign of strong lifting and the potential for some heavy snowfall at times. And you can also see it pretty nicely here on the water vapor satellite picture as well. So on the latest HRR guidance, it's just starting to come out. We're going to go with the 12Z guidance for now. And you can see that moderate to heavy snow band marching towards the region, really intensifying around New York City. That could actually surprise some people uh, with some snow accumulation out here. Uh, because of the heavy burst we're going to, have to watch that pretty carefully again here we are in southern new england and look what happens as we move on through some very intense heavy snowfall around connecticut rhode island and eastern massachusetts so definitely watch out for that as we move on towards the afternoon hours again for your giants game shouldn't be too much of an impact giants eagles just a few passing snow showers but the jets at patriots Oh, that's going to be a real snowball over there with some moderate to heavy snowfall. So that should be a pretty good game to watch. And then after that, pretty much just a few snow flurries and that's about it. So that is where we're at with our storm. I've updated the impact maps. Premium members, you can go into the premium dashboard and zoom in to your location. But basically what we're looking at there's an additional three to six inches of snow out here towards southern New England, away from the coast, along the coast and back through eastern Pennsylvania, looking at an additional one to three inches as this band marches its way through. Watch out for around New York City. Could pick up a quick inch, which would be a nice change after the past two years. And also the north side of Long Island, as we head further south towards central Long Island and towards central New Jersey and just north of Philadelphia, picking up a trace or an inch of snow will be possible. We already got a trace yesterday around uh, portions of north central uh, New Jersey uh, where we had a trace of snow around Freehold and pushing up towards Princeton so we already seen that and we already had an inch of snow here around Trenton so we could pick up another trace to an inch of snow in these locations and then further south 
another trace of snow possible as this band lifts through. No precipitations expected down towards southern New Jersey and locations further south around Maryland and Delaware as the precipitation shield starts to pull to the northeast and misses out on those locations. So that's your latest update at 9 a.m. We'll have another text update at 10 a.m. and then a final video update at 11 a.m. wrapping up the storm as the storm pulls into New England.